Gary Trent Jr. continues to break NBA records since he was traded to the Raptors. Meanwhile, Andre Drummond dropped a double-double with a game-high 20 points to beat a nearly fully healthy Nets super team, and the Lakers didn't even have LeBron, AD, or Kyle Kuzma, and many more players. In a new weekly series we're going to call About Last Night, I'll give my take on the juiciest NBA storylines from the night prior, and today we're focusing on the shocking blowout victories from the Raptors and Lakers. According to YouTube's analytics, only 20% of my audience on this channel is subscribed, so hitting that sub box would show a great amount of support for this channel, but thanks the world for tuning in. Stay tuned to see the record that Andre Drummond broke, but we'll begin with the Raptors. Toronto's most recent trade acquisition has shocked the world as the 22-year-old GTJ is proving me wrong about this Raptor team, but the PAL trade was still a clear indication of a tank job, and even though the Raptors have taken their fair share of L's recently, Trent has proved he's more than just a role player, we'll get to that. You're about to see if I think Trent has all-star potential and his record-breaking performances which came out of nowhere, but if you didn't know, my takes on the Raptors this year have been very inconsistent, as they're my hometown team, so I've always let my emotions lead the way when talking about them. And that worked back in 2019 when I predicted the Marcus Saul trade two months before it happened. In February of that year, I made a video on why Toronto would get into the finals, and right before their finals matchup with the Warriors, I said Toronto would win in six games. But if my best predictions about this Raptor team came in 2019, I'll be the first one to admit my worst predictions about them have come in 2021. Because in the span of four weeks, I made a video about why the Raptors were back, and then I uploaded less than a month later about the Raps venting about them in a video titled The Harsh Truth About the Toronto Raptors. And I'll admit, I've been pretty extra critical of Coach Nick Nurse. No disrespect was intended there. Maybe I overreact sometimes, but my intention is to always give you guys the most original, entertaining breakdowns and storytellings I possibly can. But now on to the electric 44-point night from Toronto's newest young sensation in Gary Trent Jr. Last night against the Cavs, Gary posted the second highest field goal percentage of any player in league history who'd scored at least 44 plus points. He also finished with an 107.9% effective field goal percentage, the second highest in a 40 point game ever, only behind Klay Thompson. And lastly, in that outing against the Cavs, Gary joined Chris Bosch as one of two players in franchise history to score 40 plus points while shooting over 80% from the field. Since the trade, that's starting to look like a steal for the Raps. Trent set the franchise record in plus minus by posting a plus 54. From step back threes to absurd floaters, I knew Trent could shoot from deep range when he was in Portland, but with Damon CJ getting all the touches, we never got to see how good he was able to create shots off the dribble. But the player who was just a rising 3 and D role player for the Blazers has shown he's much more than that in the six, or in the bay. Wait, what's Tampa's nickname? In the Big Guava, Trent Jr.'s hit this miraculous cross-court game winner. Oh, Trent with it. Trent. Two seconds. Trent. Drills it for the win. Gary Trent Jr. He's had three games where he's made at least six three-pointers already in a Raptor uniform, so he's been an absolute stud for them. Stay tuned to see his future with Toronto later on. But moving on to the big penguin Andre Drummond, who along with Ben McElmore and Taylor Horton Tucker, stunned the James Hardenless Brooklyn Nets last night. However, Brooklyn still had every other member of their super team available, at least up until Kyrie got ejected, and he and Dennis Schroeder got into it right here. Fouls on Irving in one-on-one -on -one situation. And Kyrie Irving is thrown out. Yeah. Irving thrown out, he continued his conversation. But was walking away, Schroeder's happy with it. And now, somebody else has been thrown in. And Schroeder looks like he's been thrown out. Wow. You may look at this victory from LA and think, it's just a regular season outing, the Nets didn't have a former MVP in the lineup, but I actually think this was a statement victory for the Lakers and here's why. They've proved that they're not just some top-heavy team. The Lakers' depth is very underrated, and it's a legit part of their roster that makes them contenders. But when the Lakers approached the buyout market this year, they did so with one benchmark, 
and that was to add pieces to their championship core that they didn't already have. Andre Drummond was brought in to give them a speedier, springier, and more agile center than Marcus Saul, while Ben McElmore was meant to fill LA's dire need for distant shooting. LA currently ranks 20th in three-point percentage, and McElmore was meant to help the floor spacing around Braun and AD, and he showed off what he could do in his second game rocking the purple and gold, or in this case, the white and blue as Ben torched Brooklyn with five threes and 17 points in just 23 minutes, as the injury-riddled Lakers suited up in Brooklyn to play the James Hardenless Nets without LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Kyle Kuzma, Wesley Matthews, and Marc Gasol. This didn't seem like it was going to be the scenario for McElmore and Drummond to go off like they did, but as the Lake Show's done through nearly the entire stretch in which their two best players have been out, they weren't about to give in, they showed up to fight, and with Drummond dominating the Nets inside and McElmore bombing away from deep, they embarrassed the Nets on their home floor in an incredible 126-101 upset victory. I mean, this just goes to show that Dennis Schroeder and Montrez Harrell were outstanding pickups. I mean, these were the two candidates for the sixth man of the year last season. I think a lot of people forget that. But the impressive stats for Andre left him as one of two Lakers players ever to log a 20-point, 10-rebound game in 22 minutes or less, according to Lakers PR. But the main reason fans in LA, or Laker fans, are going to be hyped about this one is because Drummond went off against the Brooklyn Nets. This is a team that you could see in the finals, and he more than delivered. He beasted and feasted. Drummond's now 3-0 against the Nets this season, and that includes the games he played in Cleveland, of course. But what do these performances mean for the Raptors and Lakers going into the near future? Gary Trent Jr. is a restricted free agent this summer, so that means the Raptors can match any contract offer he gets from any other team in order to bring him back. With how Gary Trent has performed out of his mind, Masai is definitely going to do that because with the unrestricted free agent they used to have in Norm Powell, he was going to walk anyway, so getting a prospect in return for him is going to look amazing on Masai's resume, but this trade for the Raps organization is looking like another gem. For the reigning champion LA Lakers, meanwhile, stealing a top rebounder and athlete at center in the buyout market is a steal in its own right. If you think Drummond looks good now, just wait till he's paired with the all-time great dime dropper LeBron James. The LeBron and Drummond pick and roll is going to be beastly, so the big penguin looking healthy against the Nets and Miami Heat recently bodes well for the Lakers' playoff run. If you want to see another edition of About Last Night, drop a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks to the world for tuning in. This was D-Flow, and I'll see you next video.